Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So in this video, we are going to see how we can update a, a new column that I can say in, into a data table. So in the previous video, we have seen everything that we can learn about update query. So these are all the things. So in this video, I will demonstrate the new thing. Uh, it's it's quite similar, the same syntax that we're gonna write, but just a small uh, things that we have to update in our workflow, and that would work. So first of all, what I'm going to do here, let me um, give you an idea what we are going to update here. So let's suppose uh, this is my data table, right? So output data in the output data table, I wanted to add one more column. Okay, so let's consider that column as a um, something like a uh, comment. Okay, so in that, what I'm going to do here is um, use string dot concat. I'm gonna concat um, uh, the item description. So let's say it's a has a quantity. Okay, he has a quantity of, we're just providing the everything that we can play around with B. So which we are mentioning, let's say if it's rice, rice has a quantity of two with price. I'm gonna give with price as C, okay. So, must contain exactly one character. What it is showing. Okay, let's see the issue. So, Mm -mm. Okay, if you see here, we think it's, it's not just with that, but it is with the comma. Okay, so just that. Um, <clears throat> so once after that's done, what I'm going to do, I just added a column, right? So we, we all know the syntax of this from the previous video. If you if you are someone who haven't watched how to do update query, I suggest you go and watch the update query video so that you'll have a clear understanding of what we are doing right now here. Okay, so we are adding a B and this is the C column uh till here so this is the d so if you want i can just put it in a different line to make things clear okay so this is a b this is the price column and this is my updated column so what i wanted to give the name for the updated column is a comments okay so i'll just say okay and then so if you see, we are writing this into a data table, DT output table, right? So this is a DT output table. So my DT output table should contain a column, which is called as comments, right? So we have already cloned it, but after cloning, what I'm doing, I am going to pull a activity, which is add data column. So for the data column, I have to put the output table. And the column name, I'll give it as comments, right? Okay, so this is it. So we are cloning so that we'll get the whole data table. And then we are adding one more column, which is comments. And we are writing it into, let me write it to DT output table, okay? And that table should be written back to my Excel sheet, okay? So DT output table and let's write it into a different sheet, which is sheet four, okay? So that's it, uh, we are good. Let me execute the file and we can see the output in this data table, okay? Let me debug. Mm, let's keep a breakpoint here and we can monitor what exactly happening. So if you see, First, initially output table has a null value and DT monthly table is having a um, item description quantity and price. So if I, after I do the clone, 
uh, it will get all the template that is similar to monthly table. So it got the template, the headers, and then what I'm going to do, I'll add one more column to this. So after adding one more column, I got the comments as well. And now it's time to update the DT output table with all the columns as per our requirement. Okay. So let's do the step in two. So if you see, I have also the third column as the incremented price from the previous video, right? So see here. Yes, this is the thing, a quantity of three with price of 2000. So if you see here, this is a, this is not the incremented value, correct? This was the previous value. So this is the incremented value that we got. This is the previous value that it is shown. So because here we got 4,000 just because the value, whatever we are uh, taking, it's, it's multiplied by two, correct? So that's how we can do the changes. We can update the query. So the same thing will be shown in our data table <clears throat> Excel sheet, okay? So let's check it out here. It will be clear. Okay, so our sheet four contained comments, right? So we just have to give a space here. Fine. So this is how we can write the values. So here uh, the values, the previous values are given here because this is a updated incremented value. So I think this is clear. This is how we can add a one more column and update the values into it. And also there are many other scenarios that we can do uh, by using different functions based on our requirement. We can even perform regex inside um, the particular link query based on our requirement. So uh, I hope this video is clear. In the next videos, I'm going to talk about joining, uh, how we can do different joinings uh, by using the link queries. So in order to not miss any of the videos, guys, please do subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, hit the like button. And also, if you are still having any questions or facing any issues, do let me know in the comment section. I'll reach out to you and I'll help you with the issues. Thank you so much for watching.